Worcester School Committee is discussing Superintendent Maureen Benenda's contract. For the last month, the local coalition has been asking the school committee to consider someone new for the job due to disparities Latino students are facing. Tonight, they protested once again at Worcester City Hall. Our Cam Jandro is live in the city tonight with more. Cam? Anna, we're coming up on three hours since the Worcester School Committee started this executive session. It's 10 p.m. and they're still in the mayor's office. Now, Benenda's contract is the only item on tonight's agenda. Earlier today, we caught up with members of the coalition as well as a member of the Worcester School Committee. We will not be silenced. The Worcester Coalition for Education Equity rallies outside the mayor's office, where the school committee was negotiating Superintendent Maureen Benenda's contract. If they do move forward with a contract, that they do put some accountability measures in there to ensure that all our kids are being educated um, equally. The school committee called a special meeting on the issue and spent a good part of Thursday night in executive session. Members were initially going to vote on Benenda's contract last week, but had to delay it. John Monfredo says he's optimistic about Benenda's future as superintendent. By and large, uh, the superintendent's done a, a phenomenal job. Uh, she's everywhere in the community. She's passionate about education. She cares very much for every child in our school system. The coalition cites disparities impacting Latino students, like disproportionately high suspension rates, as motivation to pursue a different superintendent. Enough is enough! Enough is enough! But should Benenda sign a new contract? They have created a set of recommendations they would like to see. Making sure that there's a chief diversity officer that's hired. There are no suspensions of uh, children from kindergarten to second grade. Benenda is completing her first three-year term in the position. Monfredo says he'd like to lock her down for three more as soon as possible. As far as I'm concerned, I'm shooting for that tonight. We've got other important things we have to handle, you know. Again, we have to get back to educational issues, such as the achievement gap, uh, chronic absenteeism. Now it's 10 p.m. and you can still see there's a great number of people here showing interest in the findings from tonight's executive session. Again, there's still no word on where they are in terms of a contract. Live in Worcester tonight, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.